Hey guys, it's Richie. I'm at Patoon Tawny Speedway for Patoon Style 7. Let's go check out the show. All right, right here we have a bunch of the Bacon uh, Car Club trucks. This yellow one looks really cool. I like the engine setup. We got a couple models. Hello. Swadika. <laughs> Got this cool M&M's motorbike. It's like a drag racing bike. So they have the a titanium expansion chamber on it. That looks really cool. They're usually pretty quick. Like they'll do like an eight or a nine in the eighth mile. I like the mural on this guy. Here we got a Spider-Man one. <laughs> they have so many cool trucks here. And this is just a small amount of them. You saw this one at the last show. I haven't seen this Spider Man one. Got more models over here. There's a couple of the two-stroke bikes. These things are awesome. <laughs> yeah, so all the guys have these bikes and they just ride them around the show. It's really crazy. You'll see all sorts of little bikes just riding around and people will just get in their car and cruise around the show. It's pretty cool. Like you just, People never do this kind of stuff at the car shows in the U.S. But they also don't have the same kind of cars. Like, look at this thing. What's the front end on that? Is that it's like a Ford Bronco front end on an Everest, I think. It looks really weird. But then we have the Ford Rangers, like this one that have like an F-150 front end put on them. Like look at this one. This one's crazy looking. Look at these wheels. They got them all painted up. That looks crazy. I like the, the stack right here. It's <laughs> pretty cool. He's got a motorbike in the back of it. Sadi cop. Got a Spider-Man themed race bike. This is awesome. What is that? That looks weird. Look at all the trucks. It's crazy. But check out this awesome work truck style one. Look, he's got the, he's got the big box on it, but it's clear. But the AC of the kids hanging out. <laughs> it's red. Wow, look at the painting on this guy. Like the the half Buddha, half giant. I think is what they call those. He's got a pretty cool engine setup with the crazy horn intake. Here's one you don't see very often. It's a Chevy Colorado. But I think they're actually a D-Max. Pretty sure that they're on the same platform. I don't know if they have a different engine. It looks a little bit different. Duramax. So when was the last time you saw work trucks at a car show in America? All right, and there's this whole row of them right here. This is crazy. And they also drag race these things. Like they're all modified. Like this guy's got a big front mount intercooler. Are these ones all Toyotas? I think most of these are Toyotas. Here we have another Ford Ranger with uh, F-150 front clip on it. And they do 
They do the back part of it wide bodied too, so it matches the front. You can tell because it's narrow at the doors. So not only do they have trucks, but they have vans. And then it looks like the Fiesta Club or something over here. All right, let's take a look at all the vans over here. This one's really awesome. And look at the carbon fiber weave in it. It's like a camo style. But the color on this thing is crazy. I love the color shift paint. Oh, this teal one looks awesome. I like the mini Michelin men on it with the little hats. It's cool. There's so many cool vans. And they even have models with them. <laughs> this is interesting. This van has a Harrier badge on it for some reason. The Toyota Harrier is an SUV. It's not one of these vans. <laughs> so this one's an ambulance with a camo carbon fiber weave hood and aftermarket wheels. What are these? I don't know what kind of wheels they are. And Brembo brakes. Even the ambulances are modified. All right, let's go take a look at all these Ford Fiestas. There's something pretty interesting about at least five of them. Like, that looks like a K-Series. K-Series. <laughs> oh, look at this, another K-Series. And another one. What does this one have? This one has, uh, it looks like the factory engine, but it's still got some weird intake manifold and a big ass turbo. Yeah, it's crazy the, those other ones have K-Series in them. Here's a stock engine one. Yeah, these are pretty cool little cars. What is this one? I don't know what engine that is. I don't recognize it. I like the green on this one. That looks really cool. And then we have this one with the clear hood that's got a supercharged engine in it. Is that a K-Series too? I don't know. I don't recognize the valve cover. But look how clean the swap is on this. I mean, it almost looks factory. And it matches really well since it's got the red valve cover and silver. It goes with the car. That's awesome. But they do that stuff a lot here. Like they'll get a common engine and put it into an otherwise import car or a car with an engine that's not as readily available and just swap it into whatever car. So I was concerned about getting a ride back to my condo from the show tonight, but look at all the taxis here. I don't think I have to worry about that anymore. There's a couple of Mitsubishi Tritons. Their diesel engine looks quite a bit different than the Isuzu ones. Like they have, they have this intake manifold that's totally different. To go into the top of the head. I don't know, it's really strange looking. But you see how the Isuzu diesel engine is set up. They have a small intake manifold. But I think the engine might be bigger. Look at this ECU shop. I think it's a CBR. But look, it's a EV conversion with a hub motor. I haven't seen that before. I had heard that ECU shop started tuning EVs, but I hadn't seen a bike conversion. Oh yeah, I think this is a, like a CB250 or 300. All right, I was just looking at this engine and I saw something pretty funny. I and mean, it's got a nice intercooler set up, kind of a weird sheet metal intake manifold over here. But look at the turbo. The hot side is freaking tiny. It's got a cool 
manifold. But look how small this is compared to the compressor. But then look at the actual size of the compressor. It's tiny. I think they just have the big side as a housing or a cover for the stock small side or cold side. That's hilarious. I've never seen that before. This Iron Man clear hood is cool. And they've got the engine done up like Iron Man. But his exhaust manifold looks pretty neat. And he's also got a tubular intake manifold. I wonder if that actually performs well. Duramax? Oh. So this this is a Duramax powered. It's not Isuzu powered like I thought the Colorados were. But he's got a compound turbo setup on it. It looks really nice. Wow, look at this. ECU shop has their dragster over here. It's got a 2JZ that's stroked to 3.5 liters and making 2,064 horsepower. Look at the turbo setup on this thing. Yeah, it's just a gigantic single turbo with a six into one header. This thing is crazy. The paint job, or the wrap on it is awesome looking. I wonder what this thing runs. Look at this, Honda Brio versus a Corolla. I think that's a Corolla.